First of all, Mark, uh, welcome to Montreal. Thank you. Just uh, your first impression of the city. I love the city. It's one of my favorites anywhere. Um, I've been here a lot with friends. Um, it's, I love coming here in the summer. The winter, not as much, but yeah. the summer is one of my favorite cities in the world. I think you invested in a company in Montreal, Couple, right? Yeah, I've invested in two of them. Um, a company called Ranch, R-N-C-H, that does um, kind of, um, advanced augmented and virtual reality yeah. um, and light yeah. shaping. And then also a company, Sports Logique, which yeah. um, process, does machine vision for NHL hockey. Talk to us about NBA. There's a group in Montreal, especially Michael Forti, who wants a team in really? Montreal. Yeah, do you think it's viable? You think the NBA wants to go international, grow the game outside maybe of the, the, of the States? I think it's viable here in Montreal for sure. Yeah. I mean, um, the whole Quebec area, I think, is, is more than big enough to support it. Um, the, the challenge is whether or not the NBA will expand. Mm -hmm. I, I think right now, at least for the foreseeable future, it's going to take somebody moving a team here. Mm -hmm which I would be all for, because since I love the city. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in terms of expansion, I don't see it happening in the short term, but you never know. There was a news today in the, that came out that uh, the government in Canada and Quebec, they want to raise taxes for small companies. Uh -huh. What do you think about that, the taxes and companies and startups and everything? You know, th there's two sides to that. No one likes taxes, right? No. And, and whatever the taxes are, they're always too high. Yeah. But on the flip side, I've never met an entrepreneur who said they wouldn't start a business because of the taxes, mm -hmm. right? A any of the, the companies I've ever started, I never thought what the taxes were. I, I didn't even know what the tax rates were. So um, while no one, no one is a fan of paying taxes, mm -hmm. I don't think it stifles um, startups or stifles entrepreneurship as much as people think. Um, now, once you start growing, mm -hmm. then that's money that's going elsewhere as opposed to into your business, and then it can be a problem. And the last question, I want to talk some politics. Okay. Talk about so, uh, Donald Trump. And uh, the, the other question I want to ask, why are you in the race? Why, why don't you, I in the uh, race, right? Do you, do you see that coming in the near future for Mark Cuban? You're a yeah. 2.0 guy, you're energetic yeah. and everything. <laughs> um, I get asked that a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't see it in the near future. You never say never. Mm -hmm. um, but this year in Canadian politics and American politics yeah. has been really interesting. Yeah. Um, it's all about the hair. In 2016, yeah, 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 yeah. 15, yeah. 16 yeah. is yeah. all about the hair. Yeah. So um, unfortunately, your hair is better than our hair at this point. Yeah. So, yeah. But we'll see what happens. All right, Mark, thanks a lot. And Montreal. have a great stay in Montreal. I will for sure. Fist pump, man. Oh.